Hi, I'm Lynn Long with Oregon State University Extension Service, and we're going to be talking about how to prune and train trees, cherry trees in particular, on productive rootstocks. I want to take a look at a tree that has good structure and talk about that a little bit so that we can see what our overall goal should be when we are trying to form the structure of a tree. This is a tree on Gisela 5 rootstock. It happens to be a skeena. And I think that this tree has a, 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 a good overall structure for a central leader tree. What I'm seeing here that I really like is the fact that, that the top of this tree is not overgrown. These are small branches at the top of the tree. As we go down on the tree, we get into some larger branches, and yet they're still not so big that they're shading out these lower branches down below. We have one exception to that, and that is this branch right here. We'll need to have to deal with this branch in order to get um, smaller wood coming out of here by stubbing this off. The uh, tree has an overall conical shape, which I think is very important for, for any type of, of uh, training system. We've got to make sure that we have the good light penetration all the way down here to the bottom of the tree because our goal in any type of a system that is using these productive rootstocks is to have the majority of the fruit down here on the ground so that they can be easily picked. And that's exactly what we see with this tree. Small wood top of the tree, large wood down at the bottom, and that's what's important with any type of a system. A couple of other things that I'd like to talk about in this particular tree is the wide branch angles that we're seeing here. And this is particularly typical of trees on Gisela rootstocks, especially Gisela 5, 6, and 12. But we also see this to some extent on other productive rootstocks as opposed to mazard, which generally have very upright branch angles. One of the advantages of growing a tree on, on these types of rootstocks. And this particular tree has some really nice branch angles as you can see here. The other thing that we need to be looking at and thinking about as we're pruning our trees is how much vigor are we getting on an annual basis from this tree. This is a tree, as I mentioned earlier, on Gisela 5 rootstock. And so we would like to see at least 12, 15, maybe even 18 inches of new growth throughout the tree. Now, the top of the tree uh, is generally easier to get this, this, that much growth. The bottom of the tree is struggle a little bit more to get uh, 12 to 18 inches, but we've done a pretty good job on this, on this particular tree to be able to get that down here at some of these lower uh, places on, on, this, on this tree. And so overall, I would say that for a Gisela 5 tree, this tree has, has relatively good vigor. Probably we could increase it a little bit without any problem. That would help us to maintain fruit size on a Gisela 5 tree.